I see it with my casting bracket. I'm 35, so my playing age is, you know, early 30s to early 40s. And I think we do still have a problem with with sort of... We cast younger people to play older characters. Yes. There is this, this constant sort of compulsion to, to, to make everyone younger. And I don't know. So it's a tr- it's a, you do end up feeling... You're sort of 10 years ahead sometimes. But I do do think it is moving in the right direction. And I do... Mm. Yeah, I I did say that. You articulated that much more beautifully than I did. But I do do like the roles I'm playing now Mm. more than some of the ones I played when I was younger. And I think that's... I think that's because we are moving in the right direction and we're starting to understand that women get more interesting <laughs> they're not only interesting when they're in their early 20s searching for a, for a romantic interest you know there is so much more to mine there and I mm. the women that I know are so much more interesting the older that they get so uh, hopefully that's moving forward in that direction yeah. and will continue to do so and I think I am a more interesting person now and a better actor now and I hope that the roles continue to reflect that yeah no it's so true because you know I look at myself at you know, I'm 27 and I look at myself at 16 and, and I look at her and I think, wow, you were so uh, um, opinionated for your age, but still really nervous in, in the context of life. Whereas now, you know, I feel um, more able to say to somebody, no, I don't think that or actually I don't agree with that or I don't want to do that. Or um, in my career, I feel more able to take control of, actually, I'd really like to do the interview with Sophie Rundle and I'm going to do it because I, I think I'm able to, despite her career, speak to her and, and to do the proper research so that we can have a good conversation. So I think it's interesting because what that reflects is actually as we get older, we do become more textured and we are finally seeing that in characters, female characters on screen. Yeah, man, exactly that. It's exactly how it is. And... Like, for, for me, just speaking for myself, like, becoming a mother has been the most formative experience of my whole life and has fundamentally changed who I am. And and that's... I'm so interested in that. Do you know what I mean? Who am mm. I now? And I feel like often the women that are represented on screen or previously, you know, it's... There's a lot of interest in that kind of rom-com, what's a woman do when she's searching mm. for her place in the world? And... I, we don't these women kind of these female characters drop off a cliff edge of like what happens after you become a mother or what happens to you when you're in your long-term relationship what happens to you like you say when you're in your career and you're getting into your stride I think women who have gotten to a point in their life where they feel able to say no that's quite an intimidating prospect but that's where it starts to get really interesting mm. 